Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly mineral exploration using remote sensing technique. How we can easily use the different types of mineral we can easily detect using the different types of technique in remote sensing. I will try to explain and further I also try to show you that how we can easily use the different types of satellite imagery and then we can easily identify that uh, iron oxide concentration mapping as well as also potential gold areas so this type of things how we can easily create all of those things i will try to show you that in this tutorial and it's very important for that mineral exploration basically mining okay so let's go i will try to explain all of those things one by one so just simply open my code editor here you can see i already write the code about that and create this type of map so this is my study area so for this study area i want to explore to uh, identify for the different types of mineral from here and then further i want to create the different types of map okay such as the gold uh, potential area or iron oxide concentration area so here you can see this is our map i already created in here so you can see this is the layer about that so basically this time i use here the signal 2 composite so signal 2 is very uh, high resolution about that Further, I also try to show you some hyperspectral remote sensing for my further next tutorial. How we can use the hyperspectral remote sensing because hyperspectral remote sensing has also a lot of benefit to use it to get the mineral exploration as well as also radar image. So, this type of hyperspectral and radar imagery, how we can be used to detect the different types of mineral. Further, class, I also try to explain one by one. So, in the meantime, you try to you try to again just simply show this process how we can easily use the um, google earth engine using the signal to satellite imagery so if you want you can simply search here suppose you can simply search here a uh, suppose i simply search here suppose mineral mineral exploration using remote sensing we simply search there then we can get the lot of paper about that already work different types of method to identify the different types of mineral exploration suppose i try to open this first paper for its remote sensing for mineral exploration so you, you can see this is the one kind of paper so basically this paper show you that all of things to identify for that mineral exploration using the different types of satellite imagery so basically in this time you can see basically we can easily use the different types of landset thematic mapper mapping as well so we can easily hyperspectral imaging system can individual so this type of things we can easily uh, work for identify the different types of mineral so here you can see this is the paper uh, you can easily uh, get the access from your uh, uh, organization or institution about that so you also try to read this paper then you can get a lot of idea about that uh, gold field using that nv mining district okay trend site so all of those things you can easily get it very well when you read this paper so this paper you also try to read that for identify for the different types of method you can easily know about that as well as if you want to search the go below about that you can get that you can see a lot of paper about that so here you can see this is the one kind of content for the mineral exploration from space so this uh, it provided the history so it also provide the lot of valuable information for that mineral exploration using space or satellite imagery or you can see you also try to read it then you can get the lot of information about that how we can easily use the different uh, identify for the different types of mineral so here you can see uh, they are already create natural color composite iron enhancement composite showing the difference iron mineralogy a clay enhancement composite showing the difference clay mineral uh, lithologic compo uh, composite showing the difference geological units so we can also use here the world view three satellite imagery data okay provide that and also use here the maxr data to identify for the mineral exploration so further i also try to explain this type of process how it will be work and how we can easily use this type of technique to identify for the different types of mineral using remote sensing technique so you also try to read this type of things then i hope you can easily get a lot of idea about that how we can easily use the remote sensing technique to detect the different types of mineral using the google earth engine also you can see just simply read this paper it was so very important about that 
So here you can see it's about the application of GIS remodeling for remo uh, mineral exploration. So you can also try to read this paper, then you also get a lot of idea about that how we can easily work with for the mineral exploration using a GIS and remote sensing technique. So basically, this type of things provide you with that lot of information. You can easily gain your own knowledge to identify for the different types of mineral. Okay. So here you can see uh, also you can see this is another things about that. It also provided that NASA USGS website. Uh, geological survey mineral exploration of uh, remote sensing so you also try to read it then you also get that lot of idea about that how it will be work for other things so this type of sources you try to search then you can get the lot of idea lot of uh, method lot of algorithm you can easily find out also you can see the research get so you also try to read the different types of paper or scientific paper you can read then you can easily get the lot of idea how we can easily use the application of remote sensing and gis in mineral exploration as well as if you interest to the join my online training program to learn the mineral detection using the different types of software it can be in v software as well as also google earth engine or using the hyperspectral imagery or radar imagery then you can easily join with my online training program and you can learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level so basically um in this on this online training program i will try to explain all of those methods so that's why anyone you uh, any have any knowledge about that they can easily learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level and they can easily learn so you also try to read this type of sources then i hope you can easily get that lot of idea how we can easily use the remote sensing technique to detect the different types of mineral okay so you can see you all, it's very important paper about that you also try to read then you can get a lot of idea about that so basically in this time here you can see this is our code so first of all we try to Get this satellite imagery so in this time i use at that uh sentinel 2 satellite imagery sentinel blue multi-spectral instrument we are just using here and i put my specific time period i try to take that uh, median composite in here and further i calculate that iron oxide so here you can see i calculate the iron oxide so basically in this time here you can see this type of red color identify about that high concentration of the iron oxide further if you want you can also make the classification technique using machine learning or if you want you can also use at the thresholding technique to detect the mineral or gold deposition potential area suppose in this time when i apply in here you can get this type of map you can see it show about that so it created this type of yellow color we can get from here you can see then this time it uh, show this type of uh, red color here you can see this type of things it's identify about that uh, high potential zone to detect the gold okay or gold mineralization about that and this type of red color identify about your mainly it's identify about that iron oxide and from this uh, iron oxide the high positive value it's indicating that high potential zone to identify that the uh, mineral so here you can see you can also get it from that your satellite view imagery from the google art in the base map then you also get the more better idea about this imagery so here you can see for this place we find out that there is high concentration of that uh, potential zone of the gold areas so you can simply you can see this is the place about that so for that if you want you can simply use the mining or you can searching or anything you can do for that identify for the different types of mineral so basically this is the process here you can see we can find out this is the place about that you can also zoom in then you can get that some about that so in this time you can see here first of all we create this uh, sentinel 2 composite median composite from here we are just trying to identify about the iron oxide and from this iron oxide we can get this type of red color identify about that high concentration of the iron oxide and from here we identify about that uh, potential gold areas in this time if you want you can also use at the machine learning to classification as well as if you want you can also use at the thresholding from the iron oxide and you can easily get this type of um, you can see you can get this type of pixel which is in, uh, including about that high concentration about that iron oxide and it's including about that potential zone of gold mineral so this is one kind of process if you want you can also use this process to identify for that different types of gold or mineral about that so this is the process about that you can see this is the map you can also get from here the database view map you can also get from here okay so you also try and further if you want to join this type learn this type of things using google earth engine or envy software or use the hyperspectral imagery to detect the different types of mineral or radar imagery you can simply contact uh, with my email or whatsapp i already give all of those things in my description then you can easily get it 
as well as you can also visit my website to get up all of upcoming online training program which will be start from the different time so you also try to check all of those things then you can easily get this more better idea when our upcoming online training program will be start so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe